What's good, it's your boy AP Guada, and I just jumped off the porch with Dirty Glove Bastard. Put the money in my body, no stylus. Nah. Brought the whole gang with me, they wild. Put you on my cup, he got me vibing. She wanna come give me talk, cause my dad. All right, so we got AP Guado off the porch with us today, yes, man. Yes, sir. What's good, man? I'm feeling great. How you feeling today, man? I'm feeling great. Yeah, man. Welcome to Atlanta, man. I appreciate it, man. Yeah. All right, so you be coming down here to Atlanta pretty often? Nah, this is my second time. I plan on it, though. I mean, I like the vibe and everything. City's dope. There's plenty of stuff out here. You feel me? Okay, yeah. Good vibe from the music. Yeah. All right, man. So talk to us about Kokomo, Indiana, man. man. Definitely the first one from there to sit on the porch. <laughs> Yeah, ain't nothing in Kokomo, man. It's a, it's like a little rural town. You feel me? Ain't nothing in it, at all. So we really like the superstars up out of there. Okay. First ones to do it. So like you said, we the first one up here. So. Yep. What's there to do in Kokomo? Man, nothing. <laughs> at all. Get some money. That's it. Yeah. yeah. Ain't nothing there, but just get some money. Did you grow up there? What was your childhood like? Man, born. Ain't really like I said. Ain't much to do out there. You feel me? I was never like a social person, so I just kick it with my brothers and shit like that. Okay. Not a whole lot to do. Yeah. Really, so. Your brother's older than you or younger? Yeah, I got one older, the rest younger. Okay. Yeah. What age would you say you jumped off the porch there? 14. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Did you end up finishing school? Nah, I dropped out of ninth grade. Ninth grade? Yeah. Man. It just wasn't for me, man. Yeah. I was, uh, that's when I started making beats and I was just uploading them to SoundCloud and some people are like, man, I, you know, your beast is hard and stuff. Like, you should really pursue it and stuff. And I just got tired of school and just dealing with it. Dropped out, got a job, and started buying, like, equipment to make beats and make music with it. Okay. What'd your parents think? They didn't care, man. It's, <laughs> they didn't really care. As long as I ain't, you know, out here doing too much, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I was focused and ambitious. So, I mean, I've been consistent with it since then, too. So. Okay. What had inspired you to start making beats at first? Man, Metro booming and uh, Southside from 808 Mafia, like just hearing the beats they made and stuff and like listening to the stuff they do with Future, like sounds like that. I just really gravitated towards it, you feel me? And that's like the sound that I be making. And ever since then, like I just watch all their live videos, all their uh, YouTube uploads and stuff and kind of mimic the style and create my own. Okay. So you were self-taught? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Everything I do just trial and error with it. Yeah. Yeah. How long did it take for you to develop your own sound? Man, a minute. It yeah. took a minute. Like I released my first song in 2016 and I had a little sound and then, I mean, I've been making music and putting it out since then, but it wasn't until around probably about late 2019, I really got comfortable with my, my sound and playing with it a little bit. And then recently in 2020, like everything I dropped since then has just been like under my sound. And even then I'm changing it up and playing with it. Okay. So were you uh, rapping before you were making beats or nice. that came afterwards? Yeah, uh, I was, I mean, I used to write music in school and stuff like that and just jot stuff down, but never really did anything with it recorded or nothing like that. Went to the beats and then after a minute, I was like, you know, I'm gonna just, nobody getting on my beats, I'm gonna get on my <laughs> beats myself then, you know, so. So did it come natural to you when you first started rapping? Uh, the feeling did, but like the, just getting comfortable with the mic and like, how it's sounding and stuff like that, mixing it all down the right way. It took a minute, but yeah. like the feeling of it, like I knew it was there, like I knew what I wanted to put out. It was just hard to get that sound out there. Yeah. Who'd you grow up listening to, artist-wise? Kendrick, uh, Nas, Future, stuff like that. Like Future is really, that's my, my top, what I'd be listening to. Yeah. So, but. That's really it. I mean, I'm kind of picky on who I'll be listening to. I don't listen to a whole lot. Okay. What does the AP stand for? Uh, apply pressure. Okay. Yeah. That's what we do. So. Yeah. And you also engineer as well, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, back in 2019, when I linked up with my manager, he was like, you know how to uh, record people and stuff, make beats? I'm like, yeah. So he just threw me the keys to the studio, like, go ahead, run it. <laughs> for real? That's what it was. So it was like new to me like working with other artists and stuff. But I mean, it helped a lot like with developing my sound, working on my mix and stuff. So that's what I'm really known for in Kokomo is like having a really good mix with, I mean, with everything, so. Okay. So you just started out <laughs> just recording yourself then? Yeah. Okay. I didn't really work with too many people cause I mean, it wasn't a whole lot of local artists at that time really doing anything with it. I mean, it's back in 2016, but it was a couple 
uh, that I was working with, we was just recording out of my cousin's closet and stuff like that. Had like the old setup booth and then it just, I went straight to me for a minute. And then 2019, when I linked in with my manager, that's when I was really working in the studio, recording people, like my first time really recording people. Yeah. Yeah. How'd you link with your manager? Uh, through a, another artist that, you know, he was just working with him at the time and LinkedIn, we just came to, I just came to the studio one night with my brothers and, and my manager was like, you know, got to chopping it up and showed us some of my music and he was fucking with it. And since then that's over with, so. Okay. Yeah, we've been going crazy with it. So you produce your own music, yeah. you engineer yourself. Yeah, I do it all, man. <laughs> just yeah. one man show, huh? Yeah, definitely, definitely. <laughs> what inspires you to create? Man, just, I mean, a lot really, but I mean, I just like doing my own thing. I like my own whatever. And a lot of it be just like, like I said early, like just feeling it, you know, like the way I feel a certain shit. I just want to put it out in the music. That's really all that, like the energy you get from it, how it make you feel, the vibe and all that. So mm -hmm. that's like the main focal point of it. Yeah. And do you feel like having complete control over, you know, the sound, you, the way yeah, it's definitely. recorded and everything kind of helps you too? My sound, like about being recorded, how everything is, like I like to get into the nitty gritty with everything, like the detail and just make sure everything perfect or like up to my standard, I guess. Yeah. Do you write your raps or do you freestyle punch I in? I freestyle punch in, yeah. Okay. I used to like write, but it got to the point where I'm like, man, it's just... Once I first started punching in, like, I just fell in love with it instantly. I ain't write nothing since. <laughs> really? So. How long ago was that? That was about probably 2019. Around okay. the same time once I got linked in the studio, because, I mean, at first it was just, <clears throat> I was recording myself, and then I had one of my homies just come over one night at the studio and just punch me in, bro. I just saw him how to punch me in. Just did that, and ever since then, I just like the way it sounds. It feel more organic, you feel me? I can really just say the first thing that's on my mind when I'm feeling it, you know? Yeah. So... Who are some of the artists you engineer for now? Um, I mean, a lot of local artists. Any, in terms of like bigger artists, like Boss Tools, he was here okay. last time, he with us and stuff, that's my guy. Okay. 2020, we really locked in and worked on a lot. Like uh, his single Dropout did that, a lot of his work, me and him done together. Uh, I've done Duke Deuce as well. He came through and uh, this was probably back in 2019 as well, I think. Uh, linked in with us for the night, produced some stuff for him and engineered him a little bit. Okay. Yeah. That's as far it goes as major artists. Everything else is like local, myself and the people we with, so. Yeah. <clears throat> Are you pretty hands-on when you're engineering or producing for other yeah. artists? Yeah. Yeah, I give my input and everything like that too, like, just so it's like they can really get their best sound for it because I kind of develop an ear for like, you know, uh, having a good mix. Mm -hmm. like the clarity of their vocals and stuff like that just yeah. pay attention to it like stuff you wouldn't think about but when you go back and listen to it, like oh man i didn't catch that you know yeah so why do you think engineers are so overlooked in the rap game huh? man they're, they're very underappreciated <clears throat> yeah they underappreciated say. definitely because a lot of these uh like artists they don't understand like without a good mix you ain't gonna sound good a lot of it comes from just having a good mix a good beat and then just having it sit on that song the right way Cause I know a lot of my songs when I'm recording, especially when I'm using auto tune, like I'm not gonna rap like this all the time. Like I'll play around with it, like, and it sounds completely different. And if I had no effects, no engineering on, like it would sound goofy as hell. But when you put them effects on, like it sounds crazy. <laughs> real it sounds sound crazy for real. <laughs> but. So what's the music scene like back at home? Is there much going on out there? Uh, not really at all. Like it, it, it kind of is, but it ain't. I mean, we got a couple artists that's really working and stuff like that, staying consistent. We got an artist that kind of blew up out of there too. Uh, Strap, he did a song back in, uh, I think that was back in 2019. 2019 was really, it, it, a lot of you know, music started kicking off, but he didn't went viral up out of the city and stuff like that. But mm. other than like artists like him and me, there's not really a whole lot in Kokomo that's making any music for real or yeah. serious about it. Yeah. So. Do you get a lot of support back home? Nah, hell no. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> really? Nah. So where do you get most of your support from? Because I out see you town. do pretty good numbers. Yeah, yeah, it'd be out of town. A lot of it'd be out of town love. People like that don't even, that didn't even come up with me. I mean, I got love back home, but majority of it ain't like that, you know? That's just, it's like what them rappers be talking about. Like, at first I didn't believe it, but like, you know how them rappers be like, oh yeah, I get no love back home, fake love and stuff. That shit real, like that's really how <laughs> it is. So it's crazy, but no, nah, a lot of it be out of town. Like I be networking, you know, small cities around. I got Lafayette, West Lafayette, where the colleges is, Nap, 
Fishers, Carmel, different little places like that, a lot of people be tuned in. They're like, yeah, I fuck with your music. And yeah. that's where a lot of it come from. Any plans to move out? And definitely. <laughs> definitely. I'm just waiting for that bag right and I'm getting up out of here. For okay. real. I so. feel that. <clears throat> All right. So, um, Rari, this is the song that took off for you. That was the yeah. first one? Yeah. It was the first one that really went big, like on, like with a video on YouTube. We, uh, my manager's like, man, we got to go to, uh, LA for that video. It's got that vibe. I said, man, say look. We went out there and just uh, some camera people from back home, they was just having to be out there. We linked in with them and mm. that's that. We just shot the video and I dropped it. And it's a different sound for like my music. You feel me? It was more like a fun, cool vibe or whatever. People just started fucking with it. I just left it after a minute. We promoted it and then uh, you know, I was posting it, posting about it. And then after a minute, we stopped and we looked back like, man, it's at 20K views. And <laughs> next thing you know, it's at 30K. And it's like, it's almost at like 55 right now, yeah. and that's back in last summer. So I think that's pretty good, you feel me? Did you expect that one to take off? <laughs> I didn't, actually. I liked it. I liked the vibe and stuff. A lot of people was really fucking with it, too. They liked it, but I didn't expect that one. Yeah. But that'd be the ones. It'd be the ones you don't expect that really take off. Like, I might like it or not like it, but other people will. Mm -hmm. So. <clears throat> what can you tell us about the song Pop Out? I saw this is your most recent one, right? Yeah, definitely. It's that's my favorite one probably right now. It's fun, it's different, you know? It's like a TikTok anthem. It's okay. TikTok going crazy right now, but it's like just the beat. Everybody's like, man, that beat made me wanna, you know what I'm saying? Get up and just bounce and stuff, so. Yeah, that's my most recent one. And they digging it, everybody fucking with it too. They like it, they like the style. And they like the no auto when I do no auto and stuff. Cause the energy and stuff, it feel aggressive. And like I said, make you wanna get up and just dance type of feeling. Yeah. Plans to shoot a video for that one? Yeah, definitely. Okay. I got some stuff planned. Okay. Yeah. You want to shoot it back at home or where are you going to shoot it at? Probably not back at home. Somewhere dope. You know, I got a couple ideas for it. Me and my manager talked about. Got like a script for it so we know what we're doing with it, you know. Okay. But definitely going to be cold, so. Yeah. Uh, your new EP, Alter Ego. Why would you choose that title? Man, because when I started doing the music, it's like I was like in my shell a little bit. But like doing the music, when I started doing the music, I came out of that shell a little bit. Like this is me. So it's like, I just made it like, all right, you know, you got Guada, then you got AP, like the rock star version and stuff <laughs> like that. And I made that whole EP in like two weeks. I did the demo, sent it to my manager, and I was like, I'm finna go back next day and did it, dropped it. So it's all like the same <clears throat> type of theme, you feel me? Same type of sound and energy. It's a little bit different than my uh, last stuff I put out, but it's just like rock star music, I guess. That's how I put it. Yeah. Just high energy pumped up talking that shit so yeah how was the feedback <clears throat> on that one everybody was loving it i mean i had an intro on there it was a little bit different because the beat and i don't you know use a beat like that it's like kind of like a detroit beat almost like a club beat down there and i was like really rapping i was like it wasn't really about like the stuff i usually rap about like money and like women and smoking weed whatever fuck but it was about like just some real shit in my life like i got a kid on the way and like people changing up being fake or like how people would doubt you with music but they was really digging that one. <clears throat> and then I got another one that uh, too long, people were liking too, just because, it, like I said, the shit I was talking about on it, they're like, yeah, I can relate to that. I can feel that, you know? Like, it's just been too long. I've been taking too long to get certain stuff done, you feel me, or change certain things up, so. Yeah, I feel that. You working on a new project now? Yeah, I'm working on one while I'm in Atlanta, actually. I'm okay. Drop, yeah, it's Atlanta EP. That's why I'm finna call it right now. For I real? got some songs ready for it. I've been recording since I got here, so. Yeah. Before I take off, I'm going to just drop it, no warning type deal, and then just promote <laughs> it. So yeah. So what type of vibes would you say are on it? Man, some Atlanta vibes, you feel okay. me? Like some little baby, poo shiesty, some future, stuff like that. Like just that dope shit. Yeah. You produce all the songs as well? Yeah, I produce. I'm producing everything on it, but I got one of my guys back home, uh, AJ Got Ice. He sent me some loops through, and he going to work on some stuff with me. Uh, Couple other producers, uh, my boy Hendrix, he gonna send me some stuff too. So as soon as they send that through, I'm gonna just put it on there, just so you know, team getting out there with it. Okay. So. Plans to put any features on it? Maybe some Atlanta artists? Man, I'm trying to. I'm seeing though. Yeah. I'm picky about my features or who I work with, but I'm not <laughs> opposed to it as long as it's hard, you know. Yeah. As long as they got that energy with it and they talking that dope shit, I'm with it. So. Okay. When do you think this EP will be out? Probably Saturday. Really? Yeah, probably Saturday. So tell them it's out now. Yeah, it's out now. If you're watching this, it's out now. Atlanta EP, go get it. 
<laughs> That's what's up, man. He ain't yeah. wasting no time, huh? Yeah, no hesitation. Uh, talk to us about the independent grind that comes with being an independent artist. Man, man, it's hard. It is definitely hard. Like I said, I've been releasing music since 2016, and I didn't have like no distributor or nothing like that. I didn't know like how to get it out on Apple Music or anything for a minute. And when you're doing an independent, like that's the whole reason. Another reason why I did like everything myself, like my mix and my beats, because you know you ain't got no bread to pay for it or whatever. You just don't want to pay for nothing like that. And, you know, I was working a job for a minute, but that's why until. Even, I mean, even now, like, even being with a team, like, we still got a lot we got to pay for and take care of and stuff. And a lot of people don't see that. They don't see what goes into, like, making this music happen, like, how much it costs to promote some, travel, get around, and, I mean, just everything that come with it. It's hard. Real shit. Yeah. yeah. What's your goals for uh, 2021? My goals for 2021, first and foremost, get that bag and then blow it with the music in some type of way. You know what I'm saying? It don't got to be major, but... As long as I'm not where I was last year, you feel me? I'm satisfied, but really want to get somewhere with it. That's the plan. So that's why we going crazy. Any show we get, we doing it. And, you know, radio interview, we doing it. Whatever it is, we finna do it. Because that's what it take. It take the consistency with it. Just getting out there. You can't be scared to take those risks or just take that chance, put some money behind something. So that's the plan this year. Just go hard with it. Yeah, I feel that. You mentioned having a kid on the way. Is that your first one? Yeah. <laughs> you ready? No, nah, man, I'm not ready. <laughs> Mentally, no. I mean, everything else is cool, but it's just like, well, I'm having a kid. I'm a kid, you know, so it caught me off guard. But I mean, I'm, when the time comes, you know, I'm going to play my part, and that's all it is. You know, I'm still going to be grinding and ambitious, but I'm going to take care of mine, simply put. Real shit, yeah. All right, AP, anything else you're working on? What else is coming up for you, man? Man, there's not a whole lot besides like the music really just gonna be putting out videos all year long and just all type of different music i'm probably gonna drop another album later this year you know uh working with the team you know cash bag that's who i was signed to by the way shout out cash bag the members man shout out nc the manager me uh my boy titty uh boss tools with us too c world so that's the guys we all making music we all grinding in this together for real like, it's a team effort. Like I said earlier about the independent artist stuff. It's hard, but, like, everything works better when you got a team, you feel me? So it ain't just one person doing everything. And that's how we really like to move. We move like that, like a collective, really. So wherever one of us at, you know, you got the rest with us. So I feel that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right. Any shout outs before we wrap it up? Man, that's about it. I feel like the team, cash bag, <laughs> the guys, that's it. Uh, my boy AJ got ice. He going crazy right now. My boy Hendrix, my boy Pablo. That's it, man. Just the team. You feel me? Everybody rocking with me. So. Put the shit my body, no stylus. Brought the whole gang with me, they wild. Put you on my cup, he got me vibing. She wanna come give me talk,